Today I will be showing you how I do my winged liner with a pencil eyeliner. The first product that I use in my winged liner look is an eyeshadow primer. I have this one that's a drugstore product. This is the Catrice Eye Foundation Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using this for several months now because I ran out of my holy grail eyeshadow primer and I do have a backup of it right here. This is the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. I just wanted to see if there was a drugstore alternative to this one but I found out that this one doesn't really work as well as this one. I like to wear shadows every day and in the middle of the day I'll see a crease line here of my shadow. I do see that sometimes with the Urban Decay one but not as often as I do when I use this. But this is a drugstore option if you want to buy something that's affordable. The second product that I use in my winged liner look is my eyeliner. I only use pencils because every other form of eyeliner doesn't stay on my oily lids no matter how well I prime them and what I use with this helps keep my eyeliner there all day for the most part. All of the eyeliners that I use are from the drugstore. This one is the CoverGirl Liquiline Blast. I don't even think the Liquiline Blast line exists anymore so I will try to find a dupe for this or at least an alternative. So the other product that I use with the eyeliner to lock the eyeliner into place is any matching eyeshadow. I do have a drugstore eyeshadow, a single one, that I left at home. And the only reason I left it at home is because this palette has pretty much every color that I need to match my eyeliners. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. If you haven't watched that video of what I packed in my travel makeup train case, I will leave that in the description box or you can catch it in a card here. So I basically use the matching shadow color to my eyeliner to set my eyeliner. So in this case, because I'm going with blue, I will use this teal color called radio. So it's not like an exact match, but I think the color that it produces is really nice. The last product in my winged liner look is just setting all of that with my face setting powder. This is just because I am ridiculously oily on my eyelids, so I really need to lock it into place before I apply my mascara. On with the tutorial, going in with the eye primer. The more primer that you use, the more creasing you'll experience, so just put on a little bit. I also like to apply it to my lower lash line and inner corner because I like to put eyeliner on the lower lash line and I do put eyeshadow there as well. Once that tacky base is there, it's time to line. I like to tight line first just to get that down. This just helps to fill in the gaps between your lashes so you don't have a really weird look to your eyes. You see the difference. So I like to start from the inner corner and work my way out in short strokes. I like to follow the natural shape of my eye and depending on my mood, I will either go a little bit down, so like, what is that called, the puppy eye look or I will wing it out a little bit up at an angle, which is the cat eye look. Today, I feel like doing a cat eye look. Oh my god, I completely forgot to put eyeshadow on. Let's put the eyeshadow on. I'm only going to do a one shadow look today. I kind of feel like being a little bit on the bright side today, so I'm just going to use this frosty champagne color on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just run it all over my lid up to the brow bone. It's really just gonna be a wash. The sun actually came out today, so I'm just gonna celebrate that with this shadow. I'm gonna just run some underneath my lower lash line for a little bit of brightness there, a little bit of shimmer. Back to the eyeliner. So to get a cat eye, I like to line my lower lash line first so I can get that angle that stretches up right from my lower lash line. I don't like to bring it too far up like this because it looks really weird on me. So I just like to work from my lower lash line. The key to getting a really sharp line is to make sure that your eyeliner is sharpened. Here we go. But I think that blunt edge did okay. I'm gonna use a precision Q-tip and just clean it up. And this actually helps to get the point even sharper. So that's one eye done. Now the other side, start from an inner corner. Short strokes following the natural shape. Then once I get to the end here, I stop and go to my lower lash line and then drag it up. But don't lean your head too far like this because you need to look from eye to eye. Make sure that you're going in the correct angle that matches the other one. If it doesn't match, well, it happens. Sometimes one eye is easier to do than the other one. I can't tell you which one's easier. They're both really annoying. But they're actually pretty even today. I finished both eyes. Now I'm gonna take an angled brush like this 
and dip it into the shade Radio. Just tap it in there and I'm gonna line my lower lash line first. So I like this shade because it kind of subdues the intensity of my blue eyeliner, which is a little sad because it's a really, really gorgeous blue. It's my favorite blue eyeliner ever. Ow, poked it. But I don't wanna shock anyone sometimes. And all I do is just set the eyeliner and you can actually use the angled tip to really get a precise wing even more. Blue is a little bit messy, so I'm just gonna use my Q-tip and clean it up. I finished setting both wings. I see that this wing is a little bit faded because I kept having to clean it up. So all you have to do is just go back in with your eyeliner, Q-tip, and set it again. And that's it for my winged liner look. Zooming out. Lastly, I'm just gonna take some of my face powder and brush it along my entire top lash line and lower lash line, and especially on my lashes, so I kind of dry them out so that my mascara stays on better. And since we're already here, I'm going to use the False Lash Effect Mascara. This is Essence Lash Princess. And this is pretty much my favorite mascara of all time. I believe they have a waterproof version. And if they have it online, I will link it in the description box along with everything that I talked about in this video. I hope that didn't disappoint any of you. This video was seriously a long time coming. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I do do some beauty here and there, obviously, but it is part of my lifestyle. So that's why I do like talking about beauty products, but I'm mostly lifestyle. So if you like those kinds of videos, cleaning, mindset shifts, changing your perspective, life advice, tips and stuff. It's all here. I would love for you to join the family. If you need some inspiration for an everyday summer look, it's bronzy and natural and super pretty, then I will link that video in the description box or you can catch it in my end screen and watch it next.